Hello, quick video on Blender 2.7. Uh, so this one's just going to cover a couple of things in the camera property panel. So um, I can select a cat, for instance, here, and then nothing's going to show up. So let's, um, this will change out to depending what you have selected. If you're trying to find the camera, camera property panel over here, you do need to select a camera. So you've currently got an object selected, so it's not going to show. You'll see this will change out. So I'm going to select the camera. We now get a camera property icon up here. So it's sort of switch on, switch off job. Um, over here we can change it from perspective to orthographic to panoramic. We can pick a camera from real world cameras. So I'm using a Nexus 5 because I've got a Nexus 4 at home. It's the closest thing I can find. Um, and in the viewports down at the bottom we've got both for camera views. This one has been set to use to go and render. I'm using cycles as a render, so it's doing a preview render. And in this one, it's just an OpenGL view. Um, we can set the, we can show safe areas if you want to go and show safe areas here. Click and get the safe areas, little guide. You can switch that off. You've got compositional guides, so I can put the center on, for instance. There's a center point there, or I can switch that back off again and put on like thirds see the thirds and you can put more than one thing on it at, at one time depends how busy you want this view to look and you've got um, golden triangle harmonious triangle the golden something the center diagonal you've got lots of things you can switch on yeah if you'll go and switch off thirds off there we go okay so lots of things in there um, that's sort of basically it isn't it so that's a quick overview of your camera panel and how to find it don't forget you won't get this camera panel up unless you actually select a camera all right and that will that will do that little video i think and uh, we'll move on to the next one catch you in a bit